Hey guys, uh, so before I do this DIY, um, a few people were asking me if I was going to do like an update on the eyelash extensions, so I'm going to do that really quick. Um, obviously, I don't have them on anymore. I took them off like three days later. Uh, they were really annoying to me. I pick at my mascara all the time, so I was constantly picking at them, and it was driving me insane. So, I took them off. But if you don't have like an issue with um, like fake eyelashes or mascara, then I would suggest just trying it. Um, it was cheap and it wasn't that hard, so. I originally saw this DIY from Amber Scholl, uh, which I'll link her video down below. Um, I, we pretty much did it the same way, uh, same concept. I think I did mine like a little bit different, but overall it's basically the same thing. Uh, it took me like 20 or 30 minutes and it actually turned out really well, like I'm really proud of it. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to see how I made my crystal bra, then just keep watching. Okay, so what you're going to need is, um, I just went and got these called bling on a roll. Um, so it's just like these little like tracks of like little crystals. Um, and I think it's plastic. Um, I didn't get metal because the metal is way heavier and so it kind of weighs down whenever you're wearing it. kind of like drags. So this is super light. And then I got these split rings over there got split rings um so you can get jump rings where like there's they like come together in the middle and you can like pull them apart with pliers or whatever but these I feel like would be a little bit more effective because the overlap is thicker so I feel like it'd be harder to like split them apart or whatever then tweezers scissors and um I got this chain because what I was gonna do is use this as like the neck part but I think what I'm going to try to do is just trim this and use one of these as like a neck piece. Um, we'll see. But in here I have lobster claws. So you definitely need those to attach the back. Um, and mine came in here so I just got this. But they do come in packs like these. Um, they're like $2 at Walmart. So this all together was like, uh, like $5. The first thing you want to do is you want to take this and you actually want to wrap it around um, where it's going to be under your boobs. Alright, so mine's right here and then you can actually just cut right through this. Yeah, there's like a net like in the back or whatever and that's where we're going to be attaching everything. Oh shit, I don't know which one it was. And then we're also going to be making like the triangle part of these so you're going to hold it up to where you want like the bottom piece attached and then pull it all the way up to like the top of your boob. You're gonna do four of those same exact sized things. Okay, so you're just going to lay it out kind of like a bra. Um, obviously, this is where your boobs are going to be. And then we're going to do the top part. And then you're just going to want to use these as measurements for how long you're going to want the neck piece to be. So here's the neck piece. And I think what I might do is actually trim it so it's thinner. Um, I don't really like how it's quite as thick, or I, uh, I might, I might actually just trim it like at the ends so it connects really well. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so what I did was I trimmed this by like one row or whatever, so it's a little bit thinner than the rest of it. Um, I didn't want to get too thin because I feel like it'd be hard to like connect to these two pieces. So now I'm just gonna add the spring. Uh, these things, whatever these are. I suggest getting like a marker and marking where you want all of the little things to be so it's way easier to attach. Okay, so I have these two on. Um, it's actually easier using your hands. The tweezers were really fucking annoying. So as you can see, 
Um, so I just put the ring through one of them, and you just spin it around. It's pretty much like um, like a keychain key ring. Don't mind my boy hands. Um, you just put it through the middle of this one, and then attach it to whichever one you need on the um, the one that goes across your body. Two other ones, and then attach these and then these together, and then do the neck piece. All right, so what I did with these was connect the middles of them right there. And then what I'm gonna do is actually put one of the split rings on the end of this one and connect it to the split ring connected to these. Okay, so what I did on this side was I actually trimmed off one of the single pieces because as you can see, it like sticks out a little bit over here. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. Um, so it looks a little bit better over here. And I actually, I attached one piece of the top to the split ring right here, and then I put another one on the other side of this, and then attach it over here. So that's why this sticks out more, but I'm just gonna trim that up. All right, so what I did for the last part was put the split ring on each end of like the bottom part, and then I put a lobster claw attached to one side um, so that whenever you close it, you can connect the lobster claw to the other slit ring. This is what the finished product looks like. I'm gonna try it on under this shirt that I basically made this for. All right, so this is what it looks like. I actually really, really love it. Um, I think it turned out so cute. There's a top. And a lot of like where the slit rings are, it's gonna be covered anyway, so that's why I didn't like totally freak out about it. Here's the back. This piece was actually originally up here. Um, I adjusted it, all I did was pop the ring off and then move it. So you can always move stuff around, which is cool. Um, and then with the back, I actually trimmed this piece off the back because it was a little long, it was hanging. So as long as you don't make it too small, you can adjust it however you want. And same with this side. This was way up here, so I just moved that. And here's the middle part. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you do end up making this, you should actually post it and like tag me in it because I want to see. Um, and I, <laughs> I didn't make this D, I didn't like try this DIY before I posted it. I literally like was trying like my first time, like as I was filming. So that was my first time doing it and it actually turned out really well. So hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you like and subscribe down below. 